بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم We are the children of hope. Folks came here floating on a big plane or small boat from the banana republics and rainforest cafes saving up their little pay just to see some better days. I am the first. Born onto this land, I navigate with ease. For my parents' sake, I will survive by any means. If that means physics, bio, calculus, and chemistry, these boring subjects encompass their every single dream. At 15, I translate between the judge and the jury. My teacher says I'm doing bad. I tell my dad not to worry. Plus, I can't translate all the hate that she gives me. Racist curriculum. I'm not dumb and don't need your pity. Maniacs rule your cities while geniuses drive your cabs. And I've had to work twice as hard for every single thing that I've had from Selling my stash, trying to make that quick, easy cash. Dead-end jobs that might leave you dead on a job. Poverty is like love. It makes you do some crazy things. Like using a fake gun to stick up the stick-up kids. Babylon system leaving no option. So it's get rich or die trying. Either that or just dying or you work. And you work and you work and you work for jerks, bosses who don't see people but see profits and not the holy kind. I'm talking dollar signs and I slowly begin to see why poverty like love is blind. Or maybe just colorblind. A tiny inconvenient truth about labor groups and the masses of the working classes, but... Then again, some people say that race doesn't even exist. Well, tell that to the trees still sore from hanging lynches. But during this day and age, we have fresh new waves of semi-paid slaves willing to work for less than our minimal wage. And these foreigners don't understand these foreign concepts. They Thought they were Canadian, but slowly dismissed that nonsense. And I hate to be the one to say it, but... I mean, this is it. This is your stinking land of dreams. A place where you can still live third world in a first world country. Love has Cupid, and poverty has stupid. This is a place where we can grow up to learn nothing about ourselves. This is a place where they insist that sex should sell. This is a place where we can grow up to want the things we definitely do not need. And this is a place where your kids can become addicted to alcohol and weed. And I bet they didn't tell you this on your immigration applications because sadly, this may still be better than some of your former locations. So if you won't say it, I guess I'll have to say it for you. Besides, I'm used to translating your dreams and hopes too. Aside from on America's most wanted we are not wanted here because my color and last name still spark fear the same kind that can easily become violent and you can't be protected by studying science because even our nerds aren't good enough for them i was born here and i'm screwed but you you have an accent so you get the same respect as fat kids in gym class first to get cut and always pick last but don't get mad because you're doing the best that you can and I love you because you were not afraid to take a chance so the next time someone tells you to go back to where you came from tell them that we should all go back and finally let the natives have some fun in solidarity